Okay, we're just doing some proofing here with um, Finnegan's place command. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna move around the house here. We're gonna go down to the front door, open and close it, make some different noises and present Finnegan with some triggers that would possibly make him wanna break that command so we can correct it and get him back on his place bed, letting him know that the only way that he can get off the bed is if we give him a command, one of the known commands, or if we give him the release cue. So what we're gonna do here to start with is he's gonna bend down over here, make some noise. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Oh my goodness! Good. Good boy. You can say good and give your dog some affection, give them a reward if you want. I do actually have my treat pouch on me here. Um, and just keep presenting them with these different triggers. So now we can make our way over to the back door here. Good. 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 And then reinforcing your dog for maintaining the same position. Now we're going to add some difficulty to this lesson. Good. And again, they're expected to just stay on that bed. We don't need to say please. We don't need to catch a command for that. We're going to make our way down the stairs. <gasps> Want to go for a walk? You wanna go pee? You wanna go side? Are you ready? And we're just watching for that moment that he, if he gets off, if we see him get off there, we can see right around that corner there. If we see him poke out there, we'll apply that stimulation. We'll even do this, we'll, a lot of times we'll do this with like a camera or something in place so we can actually see the moment the dog gets off. That's pretty important when you're doing this is making sure that it's the moment the dog gets off that you're correcting. So if you're going out of sight or something like that, make sure you have a way to keep an eye on them. Whether it's just peeking around the corner and being sneaky about it, which I'll do a lot of times as well. I'll just kind of peek the camera of the phone around the corner and use that to spy on them. As we do these exercises where we move away, just spying on him. Obviously he knows I'm here right now, but if we were to do this for a while, close the door even, peek through the crack, we'd probably see him eventually break off of there or after we correct it, he would settle. Good. Wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go pee? Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good boy, Finnegan. Good. Again, reinforce him for staying there. Any triggers that you can throw at your dog, any triggers that you can think of, especially if you can set things up where you know you have guests and stuff coming over, you can set those situations up. So you can correct your dog if they break and you can reinforce them if they do not. Setting up situations, maybe you have guests or something coming over, you can set up a big, big dramatic entrance while keeping your dog in that place bed. And it really goes a long ways towards helping them maintain that position in those moments where it happens unexpectedly, where exciting things happen unexpectedly or out of your control, they know how to respond or behave. So that's us proofing the place command a little bit. We're gonna give him a release cue now, Finnegan, break. And that's his cue to get off of the bed. So do some of those exercises with uh, your dog when you have them at home. And uh, you'll see tons of success with that place command.